Legend of Total War here with um, the second Medieval 2 Total War Blitz campaign. So this is basically just a repeat of what I previously did with the attempt, of course, to do it as fast as I fucking well can. Now, um, it's the two-year anniversary of the last time I achieved this. Um, that, yeah, two years ago, where the previous world record was 21 turns, and uh, I did it in 14 turns. And the reason why I'm coming back to it now is because basically a number of people are starting to attempt it. I've taught a lot of people of how to basically blitz by, well, by them watching my videos. And uh, they're, I'm in danger of losing the, uh, the world record. So in order to solidify it, I'm going to smash my own record. And then if someone's able to beat it from there, then they'll truly be fantastic. Anyway, that's the attempt. I mean... I know I can do it in 14 turns, that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to try and do this in 9 turns. I don't think that's even possible, but that's what I'm going to aim for. Okay, so here's the situation. We've got 4 settlements. We're going to turn this into 106 as fast as possible. And if you're wondering about Americas, it's not going to happen. It's not part of the Blitz because you can't get there before like turn 300. It's just, I'm not going to take all this in 10 turns or whatever and then sit around for 200 90 turns until we can get to America. It's just not part of the Blitz, nor is it even a challenge. It's bloody Aztecs. They, you can steamroll them with cavalry. First thing we've got to do um, is, of course, put the Jihad on Baghdad, which will remain for the entirety of the campaign. Now, another thing that, that you might notice is my commentary will be live on this one. It's not going to be a scripted campaign. Uh, now, with a Blitz campaign, that kind of does make it difficult because of save scumming, which you absolutely do need. There's no, body, there's no way anyone is going to make the perfect move every single time. And that's what a Blitz campaign is. It's about finding what is the perfect move. And sometimes you've got to do a little bit of experimentation, hence why you do need to save and reload. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is set up this army here. So we need cavalry, and I just need everyone because we need 8 units. The Turks are the only ones that are capable of getting this done this quickly because they're, they're in the perfect situation where they can actually hire enough units straight away to get this to get the Jihad going. Okay, now that we've got 8 units, which is the minimum required, let's reorganize. Okay, let's see here. I'll also be using a lot of uh, exploits that I didn't use last time, that being boat movement glitch and um, just the movement bug in general. Um, actually, I'm not sure, even sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Just just wait. We'll come back to that. Okay, now, i got no problem with what I did last time in regard to sending this guy to take Tbilisi. I was actually quite happy with it. Now, that being said, we could actually justify sending another in because I'm confident that I can actually bring this guy back into the army and we can can't keep moving. However, we can't do that with the general. I said we can't bring the general and it needs to be a, a unit of cavalry. And that being said, we need to try and make sure this cavalry unit doesn't get killed. So which is my best one? This guy here has got some good, good stats. We're going to bring him along. So obviously I'm bringing better units this time for this. Should be expecting a better result. That being said, we're we are also up against um, Turkish archers, which have the potential to shred these guys. But we'll see. Now, the reason why I didn't want to put all both of them in, because I need to use the movement bug. Not too far. The thing is, I can get them all this far, but these guys need to be able to attach themselves, and then we need to move, use the movement bug again. If we're going to do this perfectly. So, get them there. Let me just save it, just to make sure I don't fuck it up. So basically the rules are kind of like the same as the hot seat. And we need to stand right there. Okay, that's where we need to stand. Okay, now that's just one step further than we were last time, thanks to the movement movement bug. These guys will besiege and they'll be able to get here with one movement point left, which will then select all of these guys move them one point, and then they'll be able to move the entirety of the way. They won't be able to get to Sarkle next turn anyway, so that should be fine. So that's that one there sorted. Well, actually, no, it's not because of Yerevan, but we don't really need to worry about money too much, because 
income will be fine. I'm not going to be paying for any military units. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is take this guy out. Now, it's actually possible to take Nasir this, um, as in on the end turn of turn one, but I'm not going to. I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. Um, my main focus right now is this guy. Now, I'm going to turn this into two armies by next turn, by the end of next turn. Alright, so first thing we need to do is hire mercenaries. I want one of these, one of these, how's that? That's eight. Yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure last time I, I took all of these for myself, but I need one of the cavalry to be joined up with, join up with them. So he takes, because they're using the same re recruitment pool. Now, with that, this guy doesn't have enough. There's, um, he's missing uh, a unit in order to join the Jihad, but there is a loophole. Uh, let's see here. If we send a unit that's of little value to us, that being... I think Spear Militia are of little value to me. We send them over here. He's on the Jihad. Okay. These guys here don't matter. They'll I don't know if they'll ever be able to make it to to do anything, but send them out there anyway. Okay. So this here is now not a full stack, but we do have access to, to more troops here, so we, we can we can fill up the ranks. That's not a problem. Now this guy here we we can't bring this guy along now. But we oh, at the same time, this can't be left at um seven. So we've got to take one of them with one of them with us. Take a unit. Okay. Who gets what? Okay, you can have the Matatuis. Whatever they fucking pronounce. I think that's right. Now then, you. Come with me. You are going to stand... Hmm, where am I going to put you? Actually, that's interesting. Okay, I'm actually going to put you here. I was thinking about there, but they can't actually get to Antioch. And we're not going to be able to hire those units anyway, so... They will do just fine, I suppose. Oh, fuck, no, that's not right. And I'll tell you why it's not right, because next turn I need to hire boats. They need to be in the Antioch region to hire the boats. I'm going to do this again. Okay, they've got to be over here. That's as far as he can go. So that next turn he can hire these boats. Both of them, hopefully. Which will and allow us to use the boat movement glitch. Which will allow us to get to Britannia in second turn. Well, actually, technically, Denmark is further away by boat, but whichever. Okay, now these guys... Okay, we take, let's see, what are we up against here? It doesn't matter. Who's of less value? Both of these are the same unit. I'll take the mercenaries. You guys are going to besiege the settlement. And you guys will stand right there. Now, on the next end turn, we're going to hire a general, and we're going to pop him right there. Where's the capital? Is this the capital? We're going to change that to Caesarea. Let's see if that adjusts the, uh, the income. So, uh, let's see. Projected treasury total, 4629. Uh, 4629 to... Yep, okay, so Caesarea makes for a better capital. Anyway, we'll be taking Adana, Edessa, and Tbilisi on the end turn. Okay, so... Okay, we'll sort that out later. Alright. We can hire the mercenary here. That's fine, we'll need to bring him along. Keep this at eight units. Okay, these seem sorted. Also, hopefully that might have actually no, it didn't actually fix it. No, it's not really important. I mean, look at the amount of money I'm going to get anyway, so should be okay. So, army upkeep is still six hundred. Right, that's these guys here. So, we need right. There's not enough money to actually hire everyone, but there is. We just need to find it in the right spots. Now we do not need these stables. 
that didn't provide us with enough money. Uh, we kind of do need this town watch. Let's see here. We do not need this. I'm not going to utilize it. We don't need this. Yeah, does that give us enough money? Not quite. We still need just a little bit more. And then we're going to need more still to hire the, the jihad mercenaries here. We've got to bring them along. Okay, there's, there's buildings here that can be destroyed. Okay, I, we don't really... Oh shit, we're not going to get much money out of that. Okay, this is kind of going to sting, but we don't really need it. Holy shit, we still need more cash. That's only 200. Jeez, I didn't realize it was going to be this bad. Fuck me sideways. Tell me there's still some units here I can recruit. There are. We don't have to get them this turn, but we we will have to eventually get them. <laughs> this is this is gonna sting. We need to destroy this. Just lower the tax rate. That enables us to go on jihad, and that's how you get all f all of your armies on jihad on turn one. Now there's no mercenaries left here to recruit. I thought there would be. Was it? Oh, there are. And I've only got enough money for... Both of them. Okay, good. Because I need both of them. We need them. I'll, I'll sort that out later. Okay, so I've, that's fucking... I've destroyed every goddamn building that I can within the Empire. Well, it's not really an Empire. Within the, within the Turks. Except for that. Because I do want to train a unit there. Now, we'll sort that out later. That being said, money-wise... Uh, let's see here. Army upkeep is still 1,200. Who's not on Jihad? You're in Jihad. I, don't, I just think that hasn't updated yet, that's all. Let me just do that. That should update it. There we go. So it says we're not likely to make a lot of money, but that's okay. Alright. Next thing we're going to do is reorganize this. We're going to use the movement glitch so we can take Edessa this turn. Now you need to come forward. You're going to stand here, you're going to besiege it. And of course that's going to cause them to sally out, and these guys, they're going to stand here. You might think, well you can't make it. But that's when we use the movement glitch. Having a unit up, a cavalry unit up front, whichever units up front provide the general's not there, is dictates how much the rest of the units, or how far they'll go. And we put them there, they'll participate in the battle. He'll start the end turn there, move into here, go back on Jihad, and we'll continue moving. And that's how we keep the movement going. Last time I just bypassed this completely. Um, I took Adana and Tbilisi on turn one. Now then, this guy here. We can actually take Nicaea on this turn, but we're not going to. And I'll explain why. If we besiege Nicaea, we, we can easily take it. It's, it shouldn't be a problem, problematic battle. However, on the end turn, it is guaranteed that they will place some units there for a draw out battle. Now if we do utilize this, we can gain a new general from it. And that's why we're going to leave it until next turn to take it. Because that general is going to be very, very much needed. Okay, so we need to use the movement glitch to get these guys as far as fucking possible. Okay, we need them all the way up here. Okay, gonna pick a spot right there. Okay, good. Now they've got the movement. Put them there. And this guy will join them. Last time, we didn't obviously get that far, so we're a little bit further. Most of the units from here will move over here. It's pretty much guaranteed. I've never seen it not happen. And then we'll continue on from there. Plus, we'll have a little bit more movement. Maybe we'll get to Bran by turn two. Won't that be interesting? Anyway. Otherwise, we just have to leave the um, the infantry behind. We can't have that. All right, can we jack up the tax here? Let's see what I can do now to get some more income before any of the turn. Because there's literally nothing else to do. Um, let me just have a look. See, move, moved. We can move him along if we want to, but he's not going to do anything. He's already done 
everything that he needs to. Um, there's, there's no money to build anything. Can't jack up the taxes or anything like that. You know, would like some of these, but they'll be useful to take on Baghdad. We've got we've got a few turns to, before we need to worry about it. Now, the next thing we need to do, which I really should have done on the last uh, campaign, which I didn't do, is try to get one general a specific trait that's going to increase his movement points, which is what I did at about turn 12 in the previous campaign. I needed the guy that was here. I can't remember his name. I think it was I think it was this one. I needed him to get more movement in order to get it him to Arguin by turn 14, otherwise he was going to arrive there on turn 15. If you exhaust their movement points and they're out on the field, he's not going to be able to get it. The only person that's going to be able to get it is him, is Jalal. There's a 5% chance that he'll obtain it the moment you press end turn. So I'll just show you exactly how this works to, to try and spam this. Okay, we need two save saves, okay, to make this work. And it's going to require a lot of spamming, but this is going to get us these little extra bonuses because you can you can also advance that was it five percent movement we can then be upgraded to ten percent to twenty percent whatever it is. Um, it's all going to make a big difference at the end of the campaign. Now there's a five percent chance he's going to gain a trait. I can't remember what it's called uh, logistician or something, and we need to make sure he gets that. So what we do is save it. It's all saved. We press enter. Then we use the other save, that is Blitz. Save it here. The thing is, that general there, he might have gotten it, but we have no idea. We can't check until the next turn. So what we do is, we just, we, doesn't matter what happens here. It doesn't matter. We just need to just fuck off. Now, this is not what's going to happen. The reason why we've got that save at that other point is because if I did get the trait, we just load that blitz uh, blitz save file. So don't worry about that right now. We check his movement, check his things here. He didn't get it. He didn't get it, which means we have to load the quick save, and then we save it again. Use the quick save so that it reshuffles the. Um, the, the chances of it happening. So, quick save again. And then we rinse and repeat until it does happen. Now, I'm obviously not going to sit here and record every single moment of this. So, once again, you just rinse and repeat. It saves at this point. This is a, this is a serious fucking exploitation right here. And then, of course, you go on and go on and so forth until you do actually get it. So, I'm going to pause the recording until it does actually occur. Okay, so the technique has worked. We've got understands logistics, as you can see here. It's plus one morale for all troops on the battlefield, plus 10% movement points. As you can see here, also, I didn't really care about that kind of stuff. Now, obviously, this at this point here, the blitz is ruined if we were to continue from here. But what, of course, what I did was put in the safety measure, which was the other save file. So if we go to quick save, it goes to the end of the previous turn. But if we go to blitz, that was another instance of the first attack but the thing is you gain the trait for understands logistics the moment you press end turn or not so at this point here he's got it we know we've got it so we can actually fight these three battles here with the full knowledge that this guy here understands logistics which was the whole reason why we've done this I'm not sure if you really really get it it's a very complicated uh, exploit but whatever anyway with this battle here um, a lot of, lot of units we're up against here. On the previous blitz, I basically just bypassed these guys to begin with and sent in a, a, a force later on. This time, I don't see any reason why we need to do that. Uh, we can just smash them now. However, walking out of here without any casualties, that's going to be tough. Alright, so what we're going to do firstly is, for one thing, get in loose formation. Just get the fuck away from these guys as much as possible. Got to get it. Oh, come on. Get your shit together. 
that wasn't good there. He's fucking around. We've got to get to my reinforcements. Now, whilst it doesn't really matter how many of these bodyguards die, all that does matter is the fact that the general needs to be alive. Okay, now they've got Turkomans. Which are going to be a problem for us to even reach. You, start walking over here. I have them walking because fatigue's important. They need to, need to be fit. What the fuck are you doing? Alright, so the cavalry, they're going to rush towards us and hopefully get a little bit fatigued. We might end up getting shot in the back a little bit. But we can handle a few shots here and there. If they get particularly close, we'll turn around and hit them. They're getting particularly close. Okay, quick, go, go, go smash them. And we got them. Really good. Fucking, that was great. Alright, now we're going to push through this as quickly as possible. Just smash them. What I'm doing here is keeping them moving forward, but at the same time attacking as well. Well, at least that's what I'm trying to do. Now, I've got some more Turkomans coming in here. If they want to come into melee, be my fucking guest. We want to get rid of them in melee. This is good. They're coming in. They're coming into charge. Awesome. This is what I want. Might lose a man or, man or two, but that's okay. These guys, are not great in melee, especially not against the general. The Arab cavalry. They might capture them if you can. They might take a kill me uh, to a few shots in, but whatever. Come on. Also, the general is well, the enemy captain. He's within these guys. So just keep pushing through. Get rid of these goddamn Turkomans. We can run away if we need to. Okay, they're starting to shoot. But they'll likely shoot more of their own men at this stage. Get rid of these goddamn Turkomans. Can't stress that enough. Okay, their Turkish archers are shooting. I mean, if my general just gets rid of the Turkomans, and essentially the cavalry as well. Okay, let's move away. Let's get away from these archers of theirs. What's this here? Turkish archers. Why don't we try hit that motherfucker? You, come over here. I want you to try and help out. Because their Turkomans are near useless now. Okay, what I want you to do is charge into them. You fucking missed. Keep him distracted. I want you to charge. Run to them. Keep him busy. Stop him from shooting. And you'll help me kill this Arab cavalry. And you guys come over here as well. Help me kill this Arab cavalry. Shit. The general's getting... The bodyguard's getting a bit smashed up. Okay. Good solid charge here. That looked okay. It looked decent. Take down these Arab motherfuckers. Watch out for their Turkish archers. Man, general's getting smashed up. It's not good. For the moment, the fickle smile of fortune shines upon us. Pray this is a portent of a victory. Okay, I need you to smash as much as you can. We've got to take out the enemy general now. He needs to die. He needs to die right now. Okay, you guys, get back. That's not exactly working. I don't want you to get shot. You're very important. Luckily, these guys don't seem to be overly concerned with... with my cavalry here. Try and push forward. I really need to preserve these guys as much as possible. And here comes their spear infantry. Alright, let's go, go, go. Get out of there. Looks like we took a volley. Yeah. It's just camels. Who cares about fucking camels? Can we get out of there? Five men left on the general. We didn't kill the enemy captain. We just need to get distance from these guys. Alright. Archers, you come over here. You'll be of some use. If we can drag these guys a little bit... Ah, uh, fuck. They're too close to the... To these guys here. There's only 25 of them left, and they're bound to be a little bit tired. Ok, 
Okay, we're going to need to bring these guys up as well. Just get some distance from these fuckers. Uh, let's see here. They're reforming. It would have been great if we had killed the enemy general, but we need to make do with what we've got. Essentially, the losses that I've taken are acceptable at this stage. get a mass route somehow, that'd be great. Also, the balance of power has shifted very heavily in my favour. He's bound to be hurting pretty badly, but we've got to just use him anyway. Worst case scenario is if he dies, we just load. We've got to take big risks in Blitz campaigns. There's no... Like I said, it's not a regular campaign. I need you to take out... These fuckers here. And we lost another general. I lost another bodyguard, I mean. Take out the Arab cavalry. Nope, they, he does not want to risk himself. Fucking coward. So take out these Turkish archers. They're a pain in my ass at the moment. Get out of there, get out of there, you fucking idiots. That was much of a charge. Come on, break them. Good, we broke them. Broke them, broke them. Kill them, get rid of them, get out of there. Alright, now without their archers, doesn't matter if we haven't killed them all just yet, we can send these guys to deal with them shortly. What we need is some shock. need to get rid of this goddamn unit here. Shoot them. If need be, I'd, I'd like to preserve them. They're vital. These guys are less vital. If they have to get into the fight, then that's fine. Shoot the goddamn Arab cavalry, for fuck's sake. Oh, man, it's going to probably sting a little bit. Okay, he's fleeing. Come on, get out of that. Don't get shot. You guys, shoot them. They're shaken. I reckon if we can get into melee, that'll sort them out. Actually, pull back. Come on, guys, pull back. We've still got horse archers. We should utilize them. Need to take a minimum amount of casualties on this. Plus, them running around like this is going to make them tired. Come on, camels. The enemy force remains. They, they lose their will to fight. They must not reach the Turkish archers. Come on. They're wavering. Get back over here. Turkmen's incoming here. I don't think they're going to get too far, but get rid of them anyway. You charge into them now. Who is? Well, whatever. It's being shot by nobody. Wavering, he'll probably break as soon as we make contact. Good. Oh shit, they're. they're they recovered. Get out of there, you fuck. If you die, you... This is not gonna work. Oh, shit. Come on, make them break. Break them. 
Good. Lost the man, but it's okay. With horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. I think the general should probably stay out of this now. He's we're really pushing it with him. Hold your fire. Let these horse archers do what they can. Seen the enemy captain around lately. Hopefully, we can get rid of him. Uh, if we still got some shots left, we should save it for him. Is that him there? Arab cavalry. Whoops. Shoot that bastard. Where's the general? Get over here. Bound to be absolutely exhausted. Oh, I forgot to bring you in. Oh, javelin men. Need longer range if we're gonna hit anyone. Oh, fucking camels, they'll probably still get hit. I reckon my, my general here can take him on. It wouldn't be funny if he died. As in my guy. Behold our worthless foe! Well, he didn't. See how that general turns tail and flees like a whipped dog. A brave man. We've captured him. With, with that, we'll win. We are winning the battle. We've won this then, and this is very much acceptable. I've lost a handful of men. We just need to press the attack now. And there we go. What do we recover? Let's have a look here. Casualties healed within the bodyguards. Yeah, it's because they were the first to get killed, I think. Casualties inflicted, lost. Not real. That too means it was friendly fire. But that's okay. That's very much acceptable. I think Tbilisi will be next. And we must sack it. And with that, we'll end the video here. So guys, like and subscribe. Part 2 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.